Now then, Formal Ammo, welcome back to Jazza TV. Today, we're going to do a review of the top 10 independent boxing channels on YouTube. I don't like television. Most of it is propaganda. That's how I see it. If you, if you like what's on, you watch it. If you don't, you don't. YouTube, you can go on these days. You can just watch what you want. You can choose what you want to watch. You can go on Netflix. You can choose what you want to watch. Television, now you're still getting more you're sold to watch so that's why i don't watch it i watch a lot of youtube content but i don't watch television so yeah that's what we're going to do today just talk about my top 10 independent youtube channels and what they do and why they're on my top 10 list so coming in number 10 the first one on the list the fight with teddy atlas it's a great channel he's got a good co-host the co-host doesn't claim to know all about boxing he, he, he asked Teddy the questions, Teddy breaks it down very, very well. Teddy not only knows boxing, but he knows how to break it down well too. And he can go on a little bit long sometimes, <laughs> and he'll, get, he'll make sure you get the point. And I like that, but just sometimes not when he's commentating, because we haven't got the time. But Teddy creates that, breaking things down, and analysing, and understanding not only the, the physical, but the mental behind it, that he's big on that. And, I, and that's why I like Teddy Atlas so Coming in, number 10 is the fight with Teddy Atlas. Coming in at number 9 is a local independent boxing store, pro Am boxing. His name is Chris Firth. He's local to me from where I'm from. Chris Firth, he, he started the channel. He's only new to YouTube, but he's explaining his products and what he's made throughout the years. Why he come up with these products what the four, who the four, and it's good, I like watching unboxing reviews and stuff like that. That's one of the things that I watch on YouTube. So, Chris Firth, he's also got a lot, of, a lot of experience. I think if he carries on the channel and he keeps on going with it, he'll have some experience and some good stories to tell people. I hope he does carry on with the channel and enjoying the channel so far. So yeah, number nine, Chris Firth, Boxing Pro-Am. Go over to his channel and check it out. Number eight on the list, Paulie Malinagi, Paulie Malinagi's TV channel. Is it Paulie Malinagi TV? Anyway, the magic man Paulie, he's brilliant at breaking down a fight, talking about a fight. Like I said about Teddy Atlas, he breaks it down. Some people put him higher on the list. I'm putting him at number eight because I'm just going by the content that I consume. Paulie's brilliant at breaking down the fight. I like to listen to him. I like to listen to his nuances, his insight. He's good at breaking it down, like I said. And yeah, I think it's called Paulie Malinagi TV. Definitely go on that one and check it out. It's good. Number seven for me is Fit to Box with Simon. It's like, it's. I used to watch my kids watching other kids opening toys on YouTube. And I used to think, wow, what are my kids doing there? Why are they watching other kids playing with toys? And sometimes my kids have even got these toys that they're watching other kids play with. Like slime and all that stuff and goo and i just think why are you watching that but now i do it with simon from fitter box it's a he reviews boxing gear that's what he does i don't know to, is it an unboxing channel i don't know what it is but he he reviews boxing gear and, he, and he's he's good with it as well and he and he's creative and he and he made, makes his own score system up and he'll score your gloves out of so many out of so many he's got like a hundred point system it's good it's good it's worth to watch um what I like about the channel, he, he's, you can tell he's integral, he, he's not taking no backhanders to review these products, you can tell that he, he wants to keep it integral, so he's just blunt, he, he, he won't mince his words and he'll just say like, yeah no it's a 2 out of 10, it's, it's not the best, so yeah I like that about Simon, so yeah good channel, I watch that one a lot, number 7 Simon Fitterbox. Number 6 BBTV I think they're called Boxing Now. I think they've changed the name, but it was called BBTV. Aki and Chris, they've done a lot of great work going up and down the country for years. And I appreciate what they do because on their channel, it's not just about like the clicks and the, they, they put the time and effort. They put the time and effort into someone who's at the bottom of the ladder rather than getting the clicks on, on who's at the top of the ladder right now. And I, and I see where the boxing depth and knowledge for them guys is there because of that because they put a lot of time into all all people in boxing no matter what level you're on so yeah bbtv they got some good documentaries on there got some good podcasts and definitely definitely worth a watch 
Coming in at number five, the Bell to Bell podcast with John Evans and Steve Lillis. These two fellas have been around the game for a long, long time. They do, they do their podcast on the VIP Boxing Channel. It's a good little concept what they do. They do six rounds and three minutes each round. And if you're still rambling at the end of the round, they say, John waves the bell and he says, stop talking. But they talk about good topics. Um, they get on some good guests and it's a good little um, it's a good little podcast. It's creative what they've done. So yeah, the Bell to Bell podcast on VIP channel. Number four, Boxing Life Stories. Tris Dixon. Tris Dixon's been around. He's been writing on boxing for years. He's one of the old, the old mob who I feel sorry for these days. You now when you got the youngsters with the with the camera, they don't know nothing about boxing. Tris has been around for years, and he's podcast many people. He's well respected in boxing because he's he's built his own his network up with, with fighters over the years, and he can trust them what he's going to write, and he's integral in his work. He's got some brilliant podcasts, world champions, people who nearly made it to be world champions, people with crazy life stories in and around boxing, trainers. Coaches, cuts men. He's got he's got some fantastic podcasts on there, so it's definitely worth worth a, worth a listen. It's called Boxing Life Stories with Chris Dixon. Number three on the list is another one of these unboxing uh, review review videos. Uh, his name's Carlo from C Square Boxing. It's a channel in America. He's very good at what he does. He's like Simon, and uh, what I like about him is. When I said before about Simon doesn't mince his words, Carlo doesn't have to mince his words because he's kind in everything that he says. He says these things in the reviews without saying nothing negative, and I like that about him. He's got a good way of saying nice and kind things, but letting you know at the same time it's not the best, and I like that. So Carlo from C Square Boxing, good little channel. This one now is a really good channel, number two. Tony Jeffries, I think it's just Ch Tony Jeffries if you were searching on YouTube. He's, he's built up a brand over the years and he gives boxing tutorials, he'll give us insights on boxing, he'll talk about boxing, he went to the Olympics or the R Olympics as he would tell you himself. And, and he does a lot of good little things sometimes. He goes even out of boxing, he talks about street fighting and what, what you do and, and breaks things down. He's really, really good, definitely worth where to watch it's called Tony Jeffries boxing channel he went to the Olympics himself he's not waffling crap he knows exactly what he's talking about because he's been there and he's done it good channel number one on my list the top 10 videos I like to watch when I'm going on YouTube the Cobra Carl Frock what I like so much about this channel is Carl Frock does not mince his words one little bit you would think he doesn't like him sometimes by the way he speaks about these fighters he's going to see these people <laughs> sometimes the work colleagues sometimes he's, he's laying into his work colleagues and he's going to see them at the show on the weekend but he doesn't give a bollocks and i like that and he's got some great insights on boxing he reads the game well he understands the mentality of fighters well and he just basically tells it how it is he's got a good little bit of banter on there he brings his wife on there sometimes He's good, it's really, really good. Uh, definitely worth a watch called the Cobra with Carl Froch. That's my number one. And the new the Cobra, Carl Froch. Now, are they boxing outlet channels to me? No, maybe I'll do them at a later date. You've got your big channels, haven't you? Like IFL, Boxing Social, you have Charlie Parsons and One Man Army. But I don't see them as independent boxing channel so this one's just about the independent mob if you think i got it right you think i got it wrong what's your top 10 uh, who's the best let me know in the, in the comments what you think is your favorite channel and um, i'm sure i'll be watching them in my spare time um, thank you for watching this video like subscribe and leave a comment and i'll see you next time jazz tv